students in part first of this lecture uh, we discuss in detail about the internal structure of monopod and dipod uh, rules and in this part uh, we will discuss the differences between the monopod and dipod rule uh, regarding uh, xylem bundles as compared to dipod rules uh, which has fewer xylem bundles uh, there are usually more than six fully arched xylem bundles in monopod uh, pericycle in dicot pericycle gave rise to cork cambium parts of vascular cambium and uh, lateral uh, roots whereas in case of monopod it gave rise to lateral roots only uh, regarding pip absent or very small in dicot and large and well developed in monopod as you can see in the picture secondary growth secondary growth occurs in dicot uh, while it is absent in monopod and cambium uh, present in dicot while absent in a uh, monopod cortex comparatively narrow in dicot and wider in monopod shape of xylem um, is angular or polygonal uh, while in a monopod it is round or oval and the examples include uh, regarding dicots are pea, beans, spinach, etc. While in monopod, examples uh, are maize, palm, and grasses, etc. Roots in some plants change their shape and structure and become modified to perform functions other than absorption and conduction of water and minerals. They are modified for support, storage of food, respiration and reproduction. Uh, today we will learn about the modification or types of tap root and adventitious root. So first um, we will discuss about the modification of tap root. Fusiform uh, is wide or broader in the middle and taper at both end. You can see in the picture. Example is reddish. Other form is nappy form, round at the top and tapering and below. Examples are bead and turning. Other uh, form is conical form. Base is broad and uh, taper gradually toward the apex. Example is carrot. Plants growing in saline and marshy places are called halophytes. Uh, in breeding uh, roots, uh, roots grow into vertical uh, branches that have opening called new metaphors. These new metaphors help to get oxygen for respiration. Examples include uh, rhizophora and avicenna. Next is new related uh, roots. Uh, the roots of leguminous plant possesses swelling nodules. These uh, nodules actually shelter nitrogen fixing bacteria rhizobium. They help in fixing atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates that can be absorbed by the roots. Examples are pea, soya bean, etc. Modification of adventitious root for storage of food. Uh, first one is tuberous root, and these roots are creeping and become swollen. And they always are born singly and the roots arise from the nodes, for example, sweet potato. Next is specifulate. It is a cluster of adventitious roots for storage of food arranged in the form of bundles or collection of rods, for example, asparagus. Next is nodulose. Uh, in this case, only apex of roots become swollen like single beads, for example, ginger, turmeric, etc. Uh, other form is a monali form which is also called beaded roots uh, roots are jointed or constru constructed at intervals and gives a string of bead appearance for example uh, grasses some adventitious roots are modified for support the hanging structure that support a banyan tree are called frog root. You can see in the picture. Roots actually develop from tree branches, hang down, and ultimately penetrate the ground.
that they form a pillar-like structure and provide support to heavy branches. Next type is stilt roots. The stem of maize and sugarcane have supporting uh, roots coming out of the lower nodes of the stem. They are called stilt roots and they are mainly found in monopods, shrubs and trees. Next type is climbing roots. Such plants produce roots from their nodes uh, by which they attach themselves to support and climb over it. Uh, examples are black pepper, betel nut and money plant. Buttress uh, roots develop at the base of stem and help in maintaining the structure integrity of the plant. The basal part of stem, which is vertically elongated, spreads in different directions in the soil. You can see in the picture. These uh, roots actually support the plant. Examples are ficus and bombex. Modification of adventitious root for some special function. Uh, floating roots, uh, these roots are spongy. Uh, white in color and filled with uh, air arise from nodes of some aquatic plants and help in uh, floating and respiration and these are also called respiratory roots example uh, water lettuce some uh, adventitious roots are modified for a reproduction purpose uh, for example uh, foliar roots Roots arise from lamina, means blade, epithiole, or uh, even veins of plant. Example, uh, bryophyllum. You can see in the picture, a small tiny plants are emerging uh, from the margin of leaf. Another type of adventitious uh, roots are uh, epiphytic roots. Some plants develop a special aerial hanging roots called uh, epiphytic. These roots are spongy. Uh, they are hygroscopic in nature, which means that they absorb the moisture from the air. Uh, they possesses a special type of tissue called as velimen, uh, which means covering membrane and they absorb moisture and store them. Examples, orchid and window, etc. Okay, the other uh, modified adventitious uh, roots are mycorrhizae. Uh, it actually uh, refers to the symbiotic association of a fungus with higher plant root. The nutrients from the soil are absorbed by the fungus and the plant in return supports the fungus with organic food you can see in the picture example is pine tree the other type of adventitious uh, roots are uh, parasitic roots uh, these roots are also called as a sucker or uh, sucking roots uh, parasitic uh, uh, plants have uh, modified roots called Haustoria which penetrate into the host stem and enter its vascular bundles uh, which absorb uh, minerals. It does not have any connection uh, with soil. Uh, you can see in the picture uh, the scuta plant has a non-green stem and scale leaf. Uh, the uh, parasites send uh, Hostoria roots into the host and in uh, host is uh, acacia plant uh, that is all about uh, the feature of roots its function its morphology its different part of uh, roots anatomy of dipod and monocot and uh, modified form of roots hope students uh, you have understood the lecture if you have any question, we will discuss it in our question-answer session. Thank you.